and Dave Daly right here on the Muskegon Channel. Andy O'Reilly, Dave Cackley's clearing out his nose candy problem. <laughs> oh, it's too. candy. It's nasal. It's nasal spray. Yeah, yeah it's nasal spray. Though. Don't mind that. It's That's not like indicative a of a spray. problem of any kind. No, no, not at all. <laughs> I don't do that. Hey, you I'm not wearing out my that. septum and blowing up my sinuses. <laughs> not at all. I'm fine. Hey. Sure, I'm fine. Denial. That's another. Nah, never, don't never a problem. Hey. Denial. So uh, I got to ask you. Go ahead. Uh, we, we've been known to discuss Netflix and fun things on there. Yes. Have you seen the new uh, Ron White? Yeah, you know what? I j- that's interesting you brought that up. I just started listening to it. It's really, yeah? I think it's pretty good. It's I haven't good. gotten through the whole thing. Um, but, you know, sometimes I'll have it on, on my phone because I got Netflix on my phone. So I'll just oh. I'll listen to that in the car. That's It's it's good. Yeah. It's good. It's good. Yeah, it is funny. I watched that the other night. Did you find the uh, Did you find the secret channel yet? No, I did. I have no idea what the hell you're talking about. You got to look into secret it. Channel. Okay, I, I don't know secret what that category. means. Secret category. Okay, what like what's the cat? You said secret category. What's it? What's in it? I'm not telling you anymore. Okay, fine. I'm I, simply going to tell honestly, you there's a secret category, and when you find category. it, you'll be delightfully surprised. Okay, cool. So I would Fantastic. start looking into that. Uh, uh, how many right. times I, I got to bring it up before you go find it? You know, what I just watched. I just watched Chappaquiddick last night. That was that was pretty good. That was good. Yeah, I think I've seen it on there. I haven't watched it. You know, it I, I started good. watching um, a Star Wars uh, um, documentary on Amazon Prime last night, all about George Lucas and trying to get Star Wars made and how he mm-hmm. he didn't fit in I think I early saw on that. in Hollywood yeah. and all this other stuff. It was really pretty fascinating. It was a good story. Uh, yeah, that's that's an I think that's an old documentary. I think I yeah, saw that. Yeah, it's been out for a while. Like yeah. 7 8 9 years ago. But yeah, that's really really good. But yeah. Chappaquiddick, that was if, if you're, you 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 think of the current political times we're in and and see what what powerful people are able to do to get out of a situation. Oh yeah. yeah. And it is uh yeah, it's 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 good stuff. Did you find it's, anything it's, on your desk this morning? Uh, yes. Yes, I did. Okay. I was wondering what that was. What'd you think uh, it was? Oh, oh yeah. That's what that I see. I thought I just lost $20, but you, you left it, uh, <laughs> left it here because the tigers did not. Well, I'm not, uh, I'm not like some of us. I, I pay up on my bets when I lose. You're not Johnny. Well, you're not Johnny Welsher. I would not accuse you of being, I had no idea. I assumed that, that somebody would like, what the hell is this twenty dollars for? And it was. You think twenties just fall out of the sky for you? I don't. Sometimes I misplace monies. Sometimes oh. the monies that I have aren't, you know, which is, you know, this is actually going to go to good use because uh, Max needs me to purchase the rest of his Halloween costume because he decided he didn't want to be a Fortnite character. Now he wants to be a scary clown. So he's oh. got the bloody mask and everything. So oh, cool. we're just going to go like to the Halloween store and get the rest of his costume. So well, there you go. Well, I feel good that uh, I did where, something for the kid. That's where that. Well, very good. Thank you very much. It was very, very nice. Of... I didn't even think about it. No? I didn't even think about it. Well, there no, you I have just, it. I got you. Paid. I mean, I knew I was going to be right. I just, I enjoyed winning the bet. I, I didn't, I didn't care about necessarily about the cash. All right, we'll give it back. I appreciate it. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's already in my wallet. So. <laughs> Uh, but hey, next time, next time I come to Ski Town, I I, I will uh, buy you some food. Oh, sure you will. Okay, sure. I will. No, seriously, I will. Burger. All right. Jump through. Go through drive through. I'll hold you to it. They, do they have a Do they have a get them and go out there? Or <laughs> I think it's hot now still. Hot now still. There we go. There you go. Hey man, hey, it's I spare no expense. Of course you don't. That's because you're a high roller, man. <laughs> exactly. You know how I am. Roll some news, would you? All right, let's do it. Police in Florida are investigating after gunshots were fired into a Republican Party office early Monday morning. Four rounds of shattered glass through the office in Volusia County, and no one was injured. Of course, once again, we got the midterms a week away. I am what? Volusia. Volusia? I don't know if it's Volusia or Volusia. Anyway, That's why you got Volusia. A fine. Okay, fine. Anyway, bottom line is, you know, with with everything that's going on, this is another. This is where my mind starts going. Uh, like maybe overthinking this because it's it's probably some you know somebody who wanted to you know make some noise or whatever but part of me still thinks that somebody in the party did this no and wanted to make it wouldn't shock no. see and, and no. I, like i said i felt the same way and was was proven wrong on the uh on the this this uh, is pipe bomber guy i'm gonna tell you what crazy, crazy this dude. is people getting pushed to the edge this is the fringe mm-hmm. yeah and these are people that are already unstable are are swept up in the in this 
absolute asinine madness that we have going on right. revolving around politics right now. Absolutely. Yeah. I, just, w- it I is, never know. It, it, and somehow, I'm going to tell you what. Dude. I've had a look, I, you know, because you know I, you know, I had the whole. You ran. You were in it. You, yeah. you've experienced okay. this. The these people and these politicians, okay. Uh, there are some that that really get into it for the right reasons, and I'm not I'm not picking on anybody locally here or any of our local candidates or anything like that because I I really do think that for the most part our local our local candidates have have their best mm-hmm. in, the, the community's best interest in mind. I didn't meet any of them that I really got that 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 vibe from, mm-hmm. but I'm going to tell you what. There, there is a mindset among these parties and these politicians that they all think that they are the next big superstars, and right. the fandom that surrounds some of these people is, I mean, creepy. It, it's creepy. I mean, this. You look at some of these people and they think they're on par with Elvis. They think they're on par with uh, the Beatles. They think that's that's the level of star uh-huh. power they think they wow. have. And let me tell you I, something, I, and I mean this. One thing I thought about through the entire campaign was the fake world that these people live in because mm-hmm. it is so much bullshit behind the scenes. Because I lived it. And you got to remember, I was in the record I industry when it was still pretty hot. Okay. Right. There wasn't... In any three-month window, I could have gotten on an airplane free of charge and gone to any city I wanted to to see any band and done anything I wanted to do while I was there, all courtesy of the record company. Okay, these 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 are the kind of key people that are kingmakers. These mm-hmm. are the kind of right. people that will buy you anything and do anything you want and give you anything you want as long as you can do something for them. Right. And the minute you can't, you never hear a thing from them again ever. And what's yeah. going on right now, and, and again, I'm not saying anything about our local folks, but when they get to the, you know, they, they start off at, at, at a level and then maybe they go uh-huh. up the next level, Keep going, the spoils yeah. Keep continue going. and their right. heads just go right up their ass and they think that they are the do-all, end-all, grande of of mm-hmm. everything and it's a big fake world. It is well, a, a total, total scam. Yeah. It's... It, and, and, and I'm telling you, dude, the second they can't do something for you, the rug's pulled out from underneath your feet, and you never hear from anybody again. Well, it, it takes a tremendous burst of ego yeah. to, to run anyway, it, regardless of where your heart is. You can, have the, you can have the best intentions. I believe people on the left and right initially when they get into it do. Sure. But then once you're in it, you want to stay in it, and you're going to yeah. do whatever it takes to stay in it, and your ego is puffed up. It is a, that that – Power is intoxicating. It Dude. is. It's a natural. It, it's a natural reaction. I don't know how you stay grounded. Uh, the further I, up you go, especially when you got everybody uh, puffing you up and treating yeah. you like that, it's 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 hard. And very few people uh, can. Uh, but can but remain but this, this whole thing of of making politicians our new superstars. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. It's ain't, ridiculous. Ain't what it should be at all. The, I mean, I did not a bit. It, whether, you're oh. t- whether you're talking Donald Trump or Bernie Sanders, to me, it's like, and you'd have people because you have sycophants on on both sides who 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 think their their guy or their woman can do no wrong, right? And it becomes like what they hold on to. It kind of has for some people, and I firmly believe this. For some people, it's replaced religion for that. Absolutely, it's, this this is my savior. This person is going to lead me. Trump's Absolutely. going to lead me, or a Bernie Sanders, or Elizabeth Warren, or whoever else. Hillary is, is going to lead me to that, to where I want to go. They're going to better my life. No, they're not. No, they're not, and they're not in it for you. They're really not. And I, and I, if it, it, I don't, I don't like popping people's balloons when it comes to this stuff because I'm not saying there aren't good candidates and there aren't decent people. It's just there are few and far between. And when you get to a certain level, you've had to make. Um, deals you've had to make uh yeah. compromises morally ethically in every which way and uh, you're you're not getting the best people to run for office because you have to you have to leave something of yourself in order to attain that level you just do you want to know you want to know a, a thought i had in the back of my mind through the entire campaign if i would have won 
and yeah. the lobbyists would have started coming my way and all that kind of stuff for <laughs> seriously. Because I, I was they were going to be coming, yeah. I, I you know, if the lobbyists would have started coming my way and hey, we want to do this, hey, we want to do that, blah blah blah. Hey, can we take you out for dinner and talk about this, that, and the other thing? You know what I was going to tell them? Mm-hmm. Meet me at yeah. Subway. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not kidding. That's Maybe where dinners Subway? were going to happen with Subway. Okay. I, I we'll because dude, I've done, we'll I've done it. I've done it with the record industry. Uh-huh. <laughs> <clears throat> I've had those spoils, and yeah. <clears throat> that was going to be my little trick back on the lobbyist business to say, "Hey, meet me at Subway, and we'll we'll talk about what you guys need to talk about for <laughs> right. for whatever's on your mind." There was going to be no Morton Steakhouse. There were going to be no none of that crap. What about Arby's? What about Arby's? You can't that would have been it, funny. You know, yeah, super size right. Arby's. Okay. Like a chicken salad sandwich once in a while. Mr. Burger, wherever, <laughs> you know, finer eateries. Uh, what else is going on? Sesame. Hey, speaking of food, sesame could be the newest allergen added to the list of foods Ugh. required to be named on labels. Currently, eight major food allergens must be <laughs> declared on U.S. labeling. Milk, eggs, fish, shellfish, peanuts, wheat and soybeans these foods accounted for 90 percent of documented food allergies in the united states this is according to the u.s food and drug administration everybody's allergic to everything all the time it's Isn't just that crazy i don't know it's, it's insane nobody okay when did we we've tried to figure this out i think before like when peanut allergies started because right. there's always the one weird kid in class who uh, who who had some allergy it was like there was always the one kid that, that had an allergy. I don't recall if I don't know that I recall a peanut allergy growing up. Nope. And then there was the kid who had to go and take his hyper pills because uh, he was the, the the. It's like when ADD first. That was me. Started. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and he's got to take his hyper pills so he can get through class. And okay, fine. <laughs> and guess um, what hyper pills do? Turn you into an addict. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's interesting. Like shell. Like I I didn't grow. I didn't have any allergies. To nobody in my family. Yep. Is allergic to anything. Uh, I dated a girl who was who had uh, a serious peanut allergy, and a buddy of mine, uh, his wife is like deathly allergic to mosquitoes. Wow! Like in the which is weird. Like they live in North Carolina, and during the you know spring, some like you had to shut the doors, and she had to be she had to carry an EpiPen with her everywhere wow. just in case because like deathly allergic. Can you imagine being allergic to mosquito bite? That's bad. In Michigan, that would be. That would be a horrible. I've gotten allergic to, to do- dogs and cats as I've gotten older. Yeah, I can't it's talk. Weird, to- yeah, things that I, I and I've started thinking about this. I may have like allergies that you know I just assume yeah. it's a cold. I had a buddy of mine who's allergic to alcohol who still drinks, who like <laughs> who didn't realize this until like ten years ago. He always just assumed he felt like he had the flu every time he drank. Right. <laughs> he just assumed that happened. Oh well, yeah, you get stuffed up, you get headaches, you get wheeze and cough and stuff. Hey, isn't that what happens when you drink? No. Yeah, that's what happens to all of us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, Muskegon will receive a $7.7 million loan to upgrade the city's sewer system. Wow. The Michigan Depart- Department of uh, Environmental Quality will help pay for the first phase of the project. The upgrade will cost uh, a little under $25 million, but you know, you can't have can't have the sewers backing up. No. You can't have that. It's a filth. Like your mask. turds to get right out you know, and you gotta out get of town. in and out and, and that's right. off into Lake off into Lake Michigan. No, we don't want them there. No. Thank you. <laughs> Well, like those all, to go right to the sewage treatment plant and okay, wherever that will be is, taken that's... care of in that spot. <laughs> sewage treatment plant, Lake Michigan, whatevs. Anyway, uh, Monday night football, Patriots beat the Bills 25-6. to six. Both the Red Wings and the Pistons were off. Red Wings take on Columbus tonight. Pistons battle uh, the Celtics in Beantown. That's sports. Have yourself a great Tuesday. Later.